Romans chapter 6 verses 3 to 4, and 8 to 11. Buried with Christ in baptism, we shall walk in the newness of life. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If, then, we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more, death no longer has power over him. As to death, he died to sin once and for all, as to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin, and living for God in Christ Jesus. We were baptized with water and the Spirit to remove original sin. This sacrament opened the door and allowed us to enter the church. If you stay under water long enough you will die. Water was used to remind us about death and burial. Our old selves, our sinful selves were buried with Christ in baptism. Coming up out of the water is a symbol of rising to new life. We are a new creation, through the sacrament of baptism. Just as a baby is born and begins life, the newly baptized has also been reborn in the water and the spirit and may begin a new spiritual life. Sin is still around and both new and old Christians are still tempted. Paul's claim is that if you have a relationship with Christ, then sin loses its hold on us. Think of it this way, way, everyone is tempted, for those who do not believe in Christ it is easy to fall victim to the tempter. If you believe in Christ, and live the faith, you are still tempted but because of your love for Christ it is easier for you to turn your back on sin and walk away, than a person who does not possess Christian values. Temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your strength, but with the temptation will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 Baptism opened the door to Christian values. Only you can decide to accept them and the faith that goes with them. Christ says, Unless a man be born again by water and the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Baptism, the sacrament of faith, cleanses the soul and sanctifies it with grace of the Holy Spirit. By baptism's water of rebirth, original sin is forgiven and cleansed away and replaced with the grace of God. 